What's up everybody? This is Derek and Susan here with Superhero Fitness. Today we're doing a level four core workout. So that means we're gonna be doing 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 30 seconds on for seven different exercises. So I'll think about, take about eight minutes or so of work. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first position, we're gonna be belly down. It's gonna be hip lifts. So from hips down position, you can make a pillow with your hands and all we're gonna do is lift the knees off the ground. We're gonna do 30 seconds, so get yourself in position. We're starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Head down, hips lift up. Keep your legs as straight as you can as you work. Might feel the muscles just above your hip. In the low back, starting to strengthen. This is where we're engaging to help lift ourselves high. Keep it going, you've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds down. All right, we're already halfway there. Think about how long you can make your legs. If you need a little bit less, you can bend at the knees and you'll still work the same area. We're going again in three, two, and one. Begin. All right, 20 more seconds. This is it. Can you lift just a little bit higher? <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lift yourself up. Come on to your side for the next exercise. We're gonna revisit an old friend from the 90s. We're gonna meet with Jane Fonda. So I like to take this reclined position with the upper body. And all we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna take the top leg, lift it up as high as you can, control it on the way back down. We're just doing the one side for now. Let's take it up in three, two, and one. Jane Fonda. Is she in the 70s? I don't know when Jane Fonda was. <laughs> Jane Fonda is timeless. You can say any time and it's relevant, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. You're halfway there. This is working the glute medias right on the outside of the butt. You should be feeling it right about now. Eight seconds left. Can you keep your toes facing relatively forward towards the screen? Three, two, and one. Maybe a little shake out. Ooh, second time is just so much better. Uh, three, two, and one. And you go with control in both directions, so gravity's not just bringing you on the way down. You're going with a smooth intention all the way through. 15 seconds. Now you can see why we're only doing this set once. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Next up, we're gonna be going onto our back, so we're just gonna keep with this roll onto the back here. You can have the hands underneath the hips if you want a little bit of back support, but we're going to take legs long and we're gonna alternate which one is up at a time. Slightly bent knees will make it a little bit easier. Straight away will be a little bit harder. Let's go together in three, two, and one. Alternating leg lifts. You can relax your head down so you're not straining your neck. The microphone. <laughs> Are you gonna hear that? That's just my hip. That's uh, courtesy of getting that car accident. Well, go five seconds. Three, two, and one. Sometimes your body will make noise, and so far as I can tell, I'm talking to many physical therapists as long as it's not painful. And you're doing all right. 30 more seconds in three, two, and one. Begin. November 2019. I was rear ended in a hit and run. Dude just took off. And that's the result. Of click, click, click. Whew. Okay, you relax your shoulders. Make your legs just ever so slightly longer. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. And bring your knees into your chest. Flip over onto the other side that you haven't done. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep it even. So we're going back to our Jane Fonda sexy pose. Five seconds, we're gonna start in three, 
two, and one. Hands, or hip comes up, and back down. You want to challenge your balance a little bit, keep the other hand off the ground. That'll also force a little bit of core stabilization here. Not so quiet, though. Keep on breathing, smooth and controlled with your motions and your breath. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. A little shake out. Deep breath to recenter in three, two, and one. You are officially halfway through this entire core workout. Three and a half exercises down, three and a half to go. seconds is all that's left. Five, three, two, and one. Bring it down, flip all the way over onto your spine, or onto your back. I don't know where this is spine, you take skeletons. All right, this is gonna be an alternating crunch. What we're gonna do is hands behind the head, well, hands in front for a little bit easier, hands behind the head for a little more challenging. You're gonna do knees to chest, all right. Regular crunch, lay down, knees curl into chest. And you're gonna alternate between the two, knees tuck in, chest tucks in, back and forth. Let's do it in five, four, three, two, and one. Upper body, lower body. If you like for an extra bit, you can also go out to extension. Keep your black back. Thirty seconds at a time. Daniel, stay floating. 
as an option. You can rest down at any point that you need. If your head is looking at the wall in front of you, can you look down so your neck is in line with your spine? 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Rest for a second. 10 seconds here. Deep breath. You can do anything for 30 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Final 20. Lift a little higher. Hips and heart up. Ten. Five. Three. Two. And one. Set it down. Bring yourself back up. Cry a little bit. Whatever you need. Either way, you made it victoriously to the end of this workout. Again, when you can finish this workout in one set with no breaks, then it's time to take it up a level and try one of the harder workouts. Otherwise, keep working with where you're at. As long as you are uncomfortable, you are making progress, and we're going to do it together. If you have any questions, leave a comment or a message in, uh, for me. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.